Hey friends, what's up? It's Miss A from the Northeast Branch of Reading Public Library here for another installment of our Handfuls of History series about the 1980s. So you might be wondering why in the world I'm talking to you from the Northeast Branch Library bathroom. Well, it's because today I am going to do my hair like it's the 1980s. So with the power of Google, Google Image Search, hairspray, a comb, and a curling iron. I'm going to see if I can transform into one of the pictures from your goat pack. So if you haven't already, make sure that you grab the goat pack from the Northeast Bridge Library. I'll have all sorts of information about the 1980s. So if you need to make your own scrunchy and friendship clip, but now it's time to do our hair. So now I do have curly hair. I haven't done anything to it yet. And in the 1980s, perms were really popular. Perm stands for permanent wave. So curly hair was very hip. And people teased it a lot to make it very big. So now the tutorial I read online said I should wash my hair, put mousse in it, and then let it dry for volume. I don't use a hair dryer for my hair, but I did put mousse in it. You can tell it's got some like little curls in it. But if you don't have curly hair, you could curl your hair with a small curling iron if you want the same effect as mine, but you can do it with any textured hair type. So what I'm going to do first is double check my phone. And we are going to be following this article called How to Get Big 80s Hair. Okay, so it says wash your hair and hair will dry just enough to leave damp. Okay. Spray a generous amount of mousse in your palm and work through your hair, paying attention to your roots. So like I said, you want lots of volume. My hair is already dry. It tends to be voluminous. So it's telling me we should take two inch sections of hair and sort of tease it back. So I'm going to do that and I'm also going to add some curls to my hair. So let's get started. I'm going to start by putting half my hair up. And use a hair tie or a clip. If you did our scrunchie tutorial, you can use a scrunchie. <laughs> so I'm going to take this section and just comb it back. It feels awful. This is pretty wide too. I think a rat tail comb would be better, but I didn't have a lot of options. We'll see if it works better to tease and then curl or curl and then tease. I think actually I should curl my hair and then tease it. And again, if you don't have curly hair and you don't want to curl your hair, just do the teasing. Don't worry about the other steps. I'm sort of curled up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna spray a little hairspray and then I'm gonna back home and then spray it again. I'm going to do that for each section. So in the 80s, a hairspray called Aquanet was most popular, but I'm just using this Nexus medium hold comb through finishing mist that was at my house. Terrible 
the back next because you're supposed to do the side pieces a special way. So I'll do the back note on the bottom. And I'm just going to repeat what I did on the bottom. Just curl, spray, tease, and spray. I do this really intense face whenever I curl my hair, like this. I don't know why, but it makes your hair look better. Hairspray. Well, for the record, I did also put heat protection on my hair before this video started. Let's tease our hair. So you can see I'm just starting. You know, you normally come from the ends slowly up, back combing, you are going and just coming right towards ooh, your scalp. We're trying to get some volume. blend here and I'm going to finish doing the back section of my hair. Okay, it's time for the front pieces. Now I think there are specific instructions for these. Let's check. So we're supposed to lift it and curl it away from the forehead and sideways. Or if you have bangs, you're supposed to curl them under. And also after we're done teasing, we're supposed to brush it smooth on top so it doesn't look like a hot mess. Let's see if I can do it. Okay, we're gonna try to get this piece to the side. I'm gonna curl this way. I 
kan försvara dig att dig. We're gonna curl this all the way from my face. It doesn't get stuck in the curling iron again. I'm going to flip my head over and I'm going to tease the bottom because I don't think it seems big enough. I'm not done with my bangs yet, but let's see if this works. Just to make it bigger. Oh, it worked. My hair's huge. Um, let's finish it, I guess. I'm going to do a dramatic 80s side part, so I'm going to part it this way. And so I usually part my hair that way. So this way it will look a little more dramatic, I think. I think my hair is basically done. Let me spray it. I'm just gonna tease. Oops. I'm just gonna tease my hair one more time in the back. See if I can get any bigger. Yeah, remember tease and then brush. And see, I managed to get sort of a 80s side wave. My Finesse it a little more. I'm gonna add some final little curls in just to give it a little definition. Even though the hairspray is probably not good for my hair when it's hot. One final upside down hair toss. One last hairspray. that our big hair 80s look is achieved thanks to hairspray if you want to make it look a little more 80s you could add like a little ponytail with a scrunchie ah scrunchie but maybe i'll use a hair tie to demonstrate got so much hairspray in my hair it's a little hard but you just take a section of hair Find some place basically on the top of your head because fashion. And put a ponytail in there. And I'm going to tease it just like another section of hair. 
because it was the 80s and that's what we did. All right, and with that, my 80s hair is complete. I hope that some of you try it out. Let me know if you do. And if you want, you can comment below, see how it went, or go on our Read Squared page and post a picture of your 80s hairstyle. Bye, friends, 